Hey there everyone. Welcome back to Bird Feed for another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing. Today I'm unpacking a shoebox I've packed for a five to nine year old boy with a Hot Wheels theme. I don't pack a lot of five to nine shoe boxes uh, because that's the age range that gets most packed for. I pack mostly two to four and 10 to 14s, but I still do pack five to nine shoe boxes, just not uh, as many of the, as I do of the other two. So inside the lid, I downloaded some clip art of a race car. When he opens his shoe box, this is what he'll see. And I'm going to go ahead and take out all these books. He's got a lot of Hot Wheels stuff. He's got a Hot Wheels storybook to the extreme, and it ha it's very colorful. And it's just, you know, a cool Hot Wheels story, race car story. Let's see what, what else was in the back here. Yeah, just some blank pages to doodle on. So he's got that and a Hot Wheels coloring book. These are both from the Dollar Tree. And then he has something else to color. This is a big poster. I'm not going to open the whole thing up, but it is pretty big. And it came in this. It's a giant coloring poster over three feet wide. And that's what it looks like. And I did want to keep it in this, but it just packed better when I took it out. I don't know, when I repack it, I might try one more time to slip it in. So he's got that big, fun poster to color. And I also found a Hot Wheels sticker by number activity book at the Dollar Tree. And it's just got a lot of different Hot Wheels activities and inside pages. I have all these stickers that are numbered and you need to place them where they go to finish the image. Quite a few of those in different spots. And there's a color by number. That's a, you know, find the differences. More color by number. So um, that looks like it would be a lot of fun for a five to nine year old boy. And of course, he's got a spiral notebook. I gave him a red one for school. He, his little plush is this bear called Curly. So I thought Curly would be a cute little guy to add for him to have something to hug on and love on. I gave him a whistle on a lanyard, but I kept it in the plastic. He's got, oh, let's see if I can find his toothbrush. He's got a toothbrush and cup set that is Hot Wheels that I also got as a set from the Dollar Tree. And the um, cap came with the set and it has a lenticular on it. And then I slipped the toothbrush into those handy dandy two by eight cello bags that Joan sent. And inside the cup, I packed some boxer briefs. These are Fruit of the Loom, kind of a, um, a jersey type material, like a, you know, that breathable athletic material. He's got another pair, also Fruit of the Loom, I think. I'm not sure if it came out of the same package as these. Actually, I don't think they did. So this is just like a geometric pattern. 
also uh, boxer briefs. So he's got two pairs of underwear. I gave him these slides and I've been trying to fit these in a shoe box forever and I'm excited that they fit in here. Now they are only a size three. They're a medium two slash three. And I got these on clearance at Walgreens last summer for a dollar and nine cents, but they are really, really nice. Have a little molded space for your foot and he can wear these with socks if he wishes. So he's got a pair of uh, orange socks. These are also Fruit of the Loom. And inside one of the pairs, one of the socks, I slipped a pair of sunglasses that I had to give this kid because they are this the checkerboard of a race, you know, the race car checkerboard, checkered flag. They are this checkerboard. And I got these um, at Dollar Tree. Look at MSRP, $14.99. These are 100% um, UVA, UVB. And I thought he would look really cool wearing those sunglasses. I gave him a baseball. And this, is, this one is for ages 10 and under. I didn't know that there was a difference, but evidently there is. And his wow item, or what I've intended to be his wow item, because you just never know with these kids what is going to excite them is a Hot Wheels Flipper Ripper. It's a launcher. Let's see, how does this go? This goes in here. And then I had to make sure I found oh okay yeah all right so you pull this little lever back and you slip a car in there and I had to make sure I gave him two cars that fit easily in here because some Hot Wheels are wider than others and I'm not gonna do this but you press this button and it shoots Oh, you have to load this thing down. Okay. Yeah, you load it down and then it hits this piece right here and flips the car into or through the bucket or however you want to use it. Or you can use it. Let's see if you can take this off now that I've put it on. I'm sure you can, but I'm not I don't want to sit here and force it and break it without uh, taking care. But you can also use this with just the launcher. So I gave him two Hot Wheels cars that fit nicely in here. And hopefully he'll, he will enjoy having his flipper ripper. And I cut this out from the box. Obviously the box was pretty big and I couldn't fit it in here just so he knows what it does but in addition I gave him some instructions that I put into a little um, tote bag that I made with cars on it the fabric has cars on it and I got the fabric oh, I think at uh, Walmart on clearance for a quarter it was a fat quarter and um, I used, for the drawstring, I actually used shoelaces. Now these are kind of long, 24 inch shoelaces would have been fantastic, but um, these are 36. And instead of cutting them off, I decided to leave them long, just in case he has a pair of shoes that need new shoelaces. And I don't know if he'll put two and two together that he could steal them 
out of his drawstring bag if he really needed them. And then the instructions are in a couple of different languages with also with uh, pictured illustrations. So that's what his little wow item is that I have themed this shoebox around. He has also a Metal Tech building set, and this comes from the Dollar Tree, and I really liked this one because it was colorful, not just the plain metal color, and it's a race car. It is for ages eight and up, and this is for a five to nine year old, but I'm not gonna concern myself with that age range because I think a five and six year old can definitely do this. And you know, they can always get help from a, an adult should they need to. I wanted to include the box because it had the picture on it. And all that comes in it are these two bags full of the pieces and this might be tough for a five or six year old to read that so he may he may need some help but the box had a lot of space in it so i popped in there a glow-in-the-dark fidget spinner that i got uh, for a buck at five below in that red and yellow he's got a total of six dinosaurs but i think only five of these mini dinosaurs actually fit in the box. And these little dinos are from Melanie Lewis. She sent a whole big bag of them that I could stuff in the shoe boxes I'm packing this year. Love these. And he's got two race car erasers that I'm leaving in the plastic bag because if I took them out, I'd just put them in another plastic bag to keep them clean. The erasers seem to pick up a lot of uh, dirt and dye and different things from other items that uh, rub off onto them because I packed these boxes so tight. So what else? I, I think that's all that was stuffed in that little box. Oh, and these erasers came from Shein.com. They were, it was a dollar for two of them. So they're like 50 cents an eraser, unless you get a discount. Also from Shein.com, I found a very cool car novelty pen, and it writes really good. This was, I think, a dollar, and I paid like 80 cents for it, which I think is pretty good if I had seen that at the Dollar Tree. Definitely would have scarfed it up. He's got a set of playing cards. These are from Joan Cowan. And a slide whistle. Remember these from when you were a kid, if any of you are as old as me? <laughs> these are really cool. Um, and this is just like the old fashioned ones. This came from Menards. And this actually was regular price at $1.99, but I had some Menards rebate money that I needed to use. And uh, I think I, what did I pay? 42 cents for this. But these are a lot of fun and they, they sound really cool. He's got a silicone bracelet, another pair of socks. These have Lego characters on them. He's got a 24 pack of crayons that I slipped into a plastic bag just to uh, keep them safe from melting. Um, I got these last year from Walmart, so they were a quarter back then. They're not anymore, unfortunately. He has a pencil pouch. This is one of the mesh ones from Amazon. I put in my pencil pouches four number two pencils with cap erasers on them, four decorated pencils. He's got two with dinosaurs and two with frogs and a pink eraser and then uh, a couple he's got two of these pencil sharpeners and a sharpie highlighter from angie 
So, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's all that's in there. I think he's got a pair of scissors somewhere in the bottom of his bag. He's got a little hygiene pack with a comb. It's a, a pair of nail clippers. The comb is from Amazon, from a viewer. Nail clippers that are from Amazon. He's got blue raspberry Jolly Rancher lip balm and a little mending kit that is from Joan Cowan and a wooden cross. I love these crosses. That's from Amazon as well, sent by a viewer and I slipped it onto a black satin cord. So, I, and then I slipped it all into this sealed pack. Here's his scissors. This is a pair of Fiskars. So these were from last year or the year before I, I bought a, a big set of Fiskars scissors, scissors for $3.50. I, I don't even remember how. I want to say there were 24 scissors for $3.50. So I gave him a black one. He's got a collapsible flying disc from Charlotte Arnott. We've got another little Hot Wheels booklet. This is Maze Craze, the little maze toy on the front, and then different mazes throughout the book which I love, and then it's got all the solutions on the back if he gets stumped. Here's the um, sixth dinosaur figure, little, um, what is this, Pteranodon? Is that what they're called? And he's got another novelty eraser that is a fire truck. It actually has wheels and it rolls, as does his pen, by the way. This pen can be used as a car. He has a Hot Wheels t-shirt that I got at Kohl's and oh it was on sale and I probably had a coupon but I still paid four dollars and seventy nine cents for it so not my cheapest buy but for a licensed t-shirt um, in the size I'm looking for this is a size eight I think that that was a pretty good deal he's got a package of quite a few stickers I included these raised plastic race car stickers from the Dollar Tree that I love. I've used these before. And then I also stuffed in there different stickers, some Centos stickers from Easter, car stickers that I got on Shein, Top Wings stickers. And then I don't want to pull all of them out, but I do want to pull out these two. And then some animal stickers and these cute colorful feet I call them hang ten feet from a big package of goodies that Denise L sent for the shoe boxes I'm packing this year so he's got quite a few stickers he's got a ruler with inches and centimeters on it and I gave him a prayer card today's prayer I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you. Isaiah 48, 17. And the last thing in his box is this handy dandy drawstring backpack. I call it handy dandy because it comes in so handy when you can't fit um, something bulkier. I did have a canvas backpack to go in this shoe box, but I just couldn't fit it. And these will always fit in a shoe box. And it gives the child something to tote their items home. And later on, he can use it for school if he wishes or just to store things in. And that is the Hot Wheels shoe box I packed for a five to nine year old boy. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out and I'm excited for a young boy to receive this. I pray it turns out to be a great gospel opportunity for a five to nine year old. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.